Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I will also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for the Punisher. We are using a custom resolution of 2560 by 1440p native, 16 times the anisotropic filtering, mid mapping is on automatic, full direct 3D, advanced settings and hacks. We are not using 16 times MSAA. If you do. At, at, uh, if you do use 16 times MSAA at 1440p, the game costs around 1.4 gigabytes of video RAM. But unfortunately, having MSAA on this game causes graphical glitches on the ground, so uh, we don't want that. Uh, accurate date, fast default, shader configuration, texture filtering of display, and FXAA shader on. We are also using bilinear PS2. Some HUDs in this game remain blocky, some HUDs remain filtered. It's a personal preference on which one you want to use. We are also using Direct 3D 11. We are using MTVU. If you have more than three cores, I have six cores. I do recommend turning this on for this game. This game does target 60 frames per second. So if any game targets 60 frames per second, I will just turn it on. So yes, that's on, which is good. Let's check out the uh, native PS2 dimensions. So this game targets 640 by 447. 644 by 448 it means let's have a look at this now this is direct 3d 11 so lighting is a little bit different compared to hardware mode so if i go to hardware mode which is native 1440p let's have a look real quick so here is native 1440p bit of different lighting plus a lot better resolution which is nice so if you look at the frame of the door or that text right there even the guy you can see it looks a lot clearer but if i go to native ps2 everything looks a lot blurrier a lot less you know clarity if you look at the ground it starts to get blurry around there so it's probably using bilinear maybe trilinear a bit of aliasing right actually in front of me there so it could be the lack of pixel density or it could be bilinear texture filtering i would assume if i go to native 1440p you can see that the anisotropic filtering 16 times is actually in place it's working which is good Everything looks a lot clearer. Now, I would use MSAA or I would downsample, preferably, on this game. So, with MSAA, yeah, there's a graphical glitches. So you do not want that. There's also a graphical glitch I want to show you in Chaos Mode. I think that's what they call it. There's this blue bar down here that should show up. I, I'm going to turn on some Action Replay Max codes real quick and show you guys. So, you go to Enable Cheats. I've already preloaded codes. And as you see, the blue bar is up there now. If I go to Chaos Mode in Direct 3D 11, there will be some graphical glitches. So let's have a look. So uh, this is Chaos Mode. Now this is also targeting 60 frames per second as I mentioned. And as you see, so far it's nice and smooth with a bit of, a bit of, um, you know, juddering right now. So if I exit out of, um, what do you call it? Um, chaos mode you can see that there's some graphical glitches if i go back to software mode and then back to hardware mode as you see it fixes up it is a minor problem if you do go to OpenGL, that shouldn't be an issue that i've experienced i haven't played OpenGL much but i haven't experienced that glitch or that problem in OpenGL. but let's just go in here real quick and kill some guys but um this is a small problem that doesn't really hurt me much but it isn't the best thing to put up with but, um, yes. Anyway, let's run over here and get away from these guys. So, once again, this is native PS2. And this is native 1440p. It's a hard sort of room to kind of, um, see the, uh, appreciate the extra clarity. So, once again, native PS2 native 1440p you can definitely see in the hair and the jacket that everything looks a lot better at 1440p compared to native ps2 so that's good now the huds in this game this pause menu is very blurry very blocky it is filtered it's not um not you know blocky like this hot up there you can see the text up there is a bit blocky i know i'm right there as well but yeah a bit blocky there the huds down here at the bottom left are filtered does look very dated but I like the art style on it. It looks really, really nice. That's pretty much about it, really. You do have a unfiltered HUD right there, um, but you have a filtered HUD right there as well with the the gun. So that's what I meant. There are some filtered HUDs, there are some blurry HUDs, uh, unfiltered HUDs as well. They're all blurry, pretty much. 
Um, but that's pretty much about it. The frame rate is pretty solid on both OpenGL and Direct3D 11. You'll get more stutters on OpenGL than Direct3D 11, but otherwise this is a really good experience. You can also see a bit of lights through the, uh, through the wall as well, which most games have that problem. It's a hard thing to emulate correctly, but anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.